I missed you so much. And then it went into. <laughs> oh. Now Jordan has taken off her headphones. <laughs> and you know what? It was worse with them off because <laughs> I was in oh. the room with it. You know. Oh. And, and if you want to watch this on YouTube, you can see me put my hand to the microphone and kiss my hand like I'm practicing <laughs> kissing. Hello and welcome to Silver Bullet. My name's Lewis Hobber. My name's Michael Hing. And this is a podcast where we are going through the archives of wellness in order to see if maybe there is something that could fix us. Now, obviously, there's a lot of wellness trends that are bullshit. Hmm. They're rubbish. They're Hmm. snake oil. But uh, somewhere out there is one that works. It could fix us and it could fix you. And this podcast is about finding one. Michael, Yes, we are so close, I think. I think we are so close, Lewis. We've been very busy squirreling away our um, sanity. Mm-hmm. Uh, in- squirreling away our sanity? Squirreling away at our sanity, sorry. <laughs> um, and look, if you and I can't be fixed today, we have someone who might be as well. Our wonderful guest is a comedian who you would know from stand-up comedy. You would also know her from her stint on Triple J, where she replaced you, Lewis, yes. and uh, also replaced us uh, as part of uh, Jordan and Luca. It is Jordan Bach. G'day, Jordan. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm so thrilled to come to you today with definitely a silver bullet. <laughs> this so, is it. You're fixed. Thank God. <laughs> Before we get into your silver bullet, Jordan. Yeah. What? Uh, you are a. I want to be polite here. You're a wacky person. <laughs> You're a, you're a. I'm you're a cookie a, girl. You're, you're a cookie gal. <laughs> She's not I'm like the other girls. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, you you probably tried some you know wacky wellness stuff before. What have you given a crack at? Yes, I have. I've tried. I've done a lot of like the 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 lemon water stuff. Oh yeah. Um, What's I love the lemon that. water stuff? So you, you start your day with lemon water. And lemon. I, oh, I was about to say lemon water only, or lemon water just as a start. J- lemon water only. Oh, wow. wait, no, just to start. No, 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 just to start. Just to start the day. Yeah, I don't do the, because there's that, the cayenne pepper lemon water situation yeah, that you yeah, can yeah. do, which Beyonce did. Crash um, diet. Yes, yes, oh. which is, uh, surprise, surprise, very bad for you, <laughs> <laughs> as it turns out. A chili, spicy lemon water, only that. Uh, it doesn't give you enough nutrients, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but I also did hear about a woman who um, burned her esophagus <gasps> from drinking lemon water every morning. Oh, goodness. And I was like, and it was me. No, I, I just, <laughs> that so you, person, if I'm honest, sounds like they have a weak esophagus. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's what I've been saying. I'm like, you've got to, That's why you got to slowly bring it in. Couple squeezes in the water, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. you can start just like fully eating. I used to fully eat lemons as well, but I think um, fully like rind and all. Or no, I'm no, okay. no, no, no. I'm not that kooky. Okay. <laughs> right, right, right. They eat lemons like, like mandarin, like an yeah. orange slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Like peel okay. out and eat it, and then huh. yeah, sometimes dip it in a bit of sugar. Um, <laughs> Sounds like you're mostly just using lemon as a sugar delivery mechanism now. <laughs> yeah, it was a spoon <laughs> for the sugar. Absolutely. The other thing that I was thinking about just before when you were talking about like different like kind of um, health things that I've been doing, mm. I say this all the time in the last like five years where I'd be like, oh, I got to get my pre tan on, my pre tan on. What's a pre tan? Exactly. <laughs> but it, it's like when you, you tan a little bit, you expose yourself to the sun uh-huh. in like spring. Oh, sure. So that by the, the time base. you get to, yes, yeah, so you get the base and then you get to summer and then you have the tan. But mm. I kept saying it. And then my friend was like, finally like, hey, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> and like me trying to explain to her something that I had also not fully understood. Like I feel mm. like I have a history of just sort of grasping onto things. Like if somebody said to me, like, why do you take B12 every day? I would be like, sir, I can't, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not here. Like uh, I, I can't, I can't explain these habits. <laughs> so you do B12 tablets? I do the B, the B12 tablets and then sometimes the fizz. Uh-huh. Um, Ooh, I do a morning fizz. fizz I don't you... know what a morning fizz is. Oh, you mean like a the broccoli type? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so sure, you get sure, a little, sure. little fizzy one. Uh-huh. Um, and I didn't know for the longest time that it actually... So, because I just thought that I had um, like a liver problem. <laughs> but oh, you didn't realize that it makes you wear yellow. It makes it so yellow. Right. Yeah, it's like yeah. insane. And yeah. I didn't, and nobody told, because who would tell you? And I think because that's just you pissing out all of the vitamins, right? Like, yeah, vitamins. you're not absorbing but any of it. Yeah. Did you uh, ever go to a doctor about this or anything? How did you How did you discover that what you were doing was... Um, um, 
just like through growth and learning and, <laughs> and five years of ignoring the problem. And yeah, absolutely. Until yeah. somebody finally said something and I was like, oh my God, of course. And that's how I come, and that's how I have discovered most of my health ailments is just yeah, for, over time. For, for people who, who maybe don't know Jordan, this is such a encapsulation of her personality <laughs> that you would try to do something good do it five years, terrified you're doing it the wrong way, <laughs> thinking you're dying. And then it turns out, oh, no, it's just the result. Yeah. Of the, and not get it checked at all. No, um, no, no, no. I no. Have, I've had the B12 butt shot. Don't know if you've ever. I'm interested. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm interested in these, like, just in, like, vitamin infusions yes. in general. Because part of me is, like, it sounds very, like, Yolanda Hadid, like, like bullshit. So I've had that too. How was it? So um, You had it at a, at a music festival. So Splendor in the Grass, um, <gasps> backstage, and the, there's backstage and then there's VIP backstage. Yes. And not to brag, but that's where we live. Um, there's no mud. It's all carpet and mm. like it. You you never touch the ground. Oh, I went there once because somebody gave me a pass to do that, and y'all had oysters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I yeah. was like, it was. It literally felt like <laughs> stepping into like the capital in Hunger Games. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's one hundred percent what it's and like. You got B twelve shots in your ass. Yeah. So I yeah. last year, which was the d- the disastrous that splendor the in the grass year. where everyone was getting flooded. It was. We were like the billionaires <laughs> heading out. On our like mega yachts, yes. Like that, everyone was like, people were dying, and I mean, sorry, I'll say it again. People were like, um, their tents were flooded. It was awful, and we were like, it was not pleasant, but we were <laughs> fine. You know, we it was were pretty pleasant. We were we were still having pizza and oysters backstage, <laughs> um, and uh, but I was quite sick. King and I was shooting a TV show. We'd mm. been slammed, and I was really sick. And um, so I went to like the medical tent. And I'm like, "What do you guys got?" And they just have the series of now legal. I'm sure like 50 years ago on music festivals, they would just give you speed. But now they're like, <laughs> they have a bunch of wacky vitamins and shit. And so they just like drop the pants, bend over, v- vitamin B12 butt Done. shot. Yeah. But I've also had the um, full like go to the doctor have the vitamin infusions as well. Oh, my God. I'm and, obsessed with that. And I thought it was amazing. My girlfriend, who's a doctor, is like, you are getting absolutely fleeced by a bunch of charlatans. <laughs> See, that's my thing is that, like, part of me knows that but would still do it just for peace of mind. I loved it. <laughs> like, I loved just in it. case all doctors are wrong. Yes. Mm. My whole thing, I think that every health issue that I've had, a placebo has helped me. I don't think that anything I've ever done yeah. <laughs> has been medicated. <laughs> Before we get totally <laughs> cancelled for medical misinformation, uh, Jordan Barr, what is your silver bullet you've brought to us today? Okay, my silver bullet to you, and I'd be so interested to know if this is something that you have maybe used before mm-hmm. or subscribed to, quite literally. Um, it, my silver bullet is ASMR. Ooh. I'm excited about this. <laughs> Jordan, what is ASMR? Well, ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you obviously know what that means. I do. It means <laughs> it's from Meridia, which is <laughs> right near Genovia. I, um, what it basically is is when you get like a tingling sensation or you can sometimes get like goosebumps from like sounds mm. or like atmospheres and stuff like that. What I would liken it to is like if you ever did like work – at school and, like, a teacher would come around and help you out, like, in, in kindergarten or whatever, uh-huh. and then you just, like, immediately feel relaxed. Do you... <laughs> so I'm speaking. Wow. To the, and like, okay, we're going to try to not mock that. Yeah, because... so. <laughs> Hang on. So, but... You're being vulnerable and um, <laughs> we're going to try it. So... But just on a simple level, yes. it's sort of like it's, it's a series of sounds or noises yep. that people hear and then it evokes a tingling sensation and then they find relaxing. Yes. I would say maybe an easier, an easier way to think about it is like it's like a good version of Nails on the Chalkboard. Like L- that's as, great. That's as a really good description. Awful as that is, and has yeah. uh, that, it's like it's like imagine that, but flipped, and it's nice. Yeah. yeah. So instead, it's like um, someone going their fingertips through velvet mm. or something. Yeah. And someone goes like, "Oh, I love the sound of that." Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And I think like for some people, it's like it's like literally like the tapping and like nails is a big one. Mm. Okay. <laughs> for my so girls. <laughs> you sent us some specific clips. Yes. To listen to. 
Um, and maybe for people who have never heard ASMR before, we'll get stuck into these so that people can kind of get an idea yeah. of what these sound like. Great. So, um, we'll go headphones on so that we can hear this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, so the first one that we want to talk about is uh, from a huge ASMR YouTuber. Yeah. Like for people who are listening to this going, oh, this is so niche, no one listens to this. Mm. She has, I think, what, 9 million subscribers? Yeah, one of her videos has like 96 million views. And like I'm not a food <laughs> ASMR girly. I much prefer like whispers and like slow talking videos and instructions. I'm like, mm. done. Um, but the... Her food channel is like out of control and the amount of effort she puts in. Yeah. It's, I'm obsessed. So, this is the clip you sent us is uh, this woman. I think her name is, is it Honey Bee? Honey Bee, yeah. Honey Bee. <laughs> and Honey is H U N N Y for anyone uh-huh. who wants to look this up. Uh-huh. And this clip is her, she's made a bunch of food that looks like things that aren't food hairbrushes, um, cans. But they're made out of food. Yeah, and like plastic soft drink bottles, right? Yes. Okay. And this is her eating, I think it's a hairbrush that's made out of ice. It's just... <laughs> and that's like a great example of like a whole school of ASMR, mm. which is like... Kind of food noises that people listen to. Well, they're very mouthy. Yeah. Mouthy. Yeah. Yeah. A, yeah. I would say it's a lot of um, the things that most people hate about mouth sounds, which is like <laughs> where you, yeah, not I mean not quite that fast because no. that's obviously very <laughs> masturbatory, but very slow. I'm going to turn my I'm going to turn my mic up for sensitivity. Yeah. Here's Those... the thing, in public, I can't stand it. <laughs> I feel like it has to be a private place. <laughs> well, I, I, I think that's true. But <laughs> it to me, I mean, no, sorry, I don't want to get to me yet. Let's mm. let's focus on you. Yes. When do you enjoy this? What do you like about it? I need it to go to sleep. Right. So you need it to go to sleep. I need it to go to sleep. So if I am uh I, I don't think I'm not a very anxious person, but I do have a what I would describe as a restless mind. Okay. Um, and often before I go to sleep, that's when I have a lot of ideas and it's stupid <laughs> and it's very uh, not helpful. And so what I need to do is to distract it myself with, um, with ASMR. And the videos that I find really helpful are just like someone who is taking so much time to like describe something mm-hmm. or just like slowly like run you through stuff or give you instructions and things like that. I just find it so literally mind numbing that I can get to sleep. <laughs> can I ask, we're always interested in the mechanics of people's process in this podcast. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, so you're saying you're using these videos to go to sleep. Talk us through exactly what you're doing. So you're um, I hope I'm not speaking out of school here. Do you sleep in a bed alone? or No, I sleep in a bed um, with my partner. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, and so you're on one side, they're on the other side. Yeah. And great, great detail. Like sharing, <laughs> I'm just trying to paint a picture. So yeah. you're no, sleep stacks on. It's actually yeah. a bunk bed situation. <laughs> Jordan's on the bottom bunk. <laughs> So well, what I'm interested in, though, yeah. is are you headphones for the videos? Are you playing mm. them out loud? Do they have to endure this as well? Headphones all the way. I right. go headphones. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like, uh, and you're watching the video or just listening? I'm watching as well. Uh-huh. And then sometimes uh-huh. I fall asleep while it's on. And then I wake up, which can be kind of spooky because I was recently in Edinburgh and I went on a spooky Edinburgh walking tour and they told us about this cannibal who apparently the spirit will tap on your door at midnight and I fell asleep to some ASMR and woke up to a woman tapping a woman. (laughs) (laughs) And it scared the shit out of me. So there are some negatives to this experience. You're very brave. We we all think you're very brave. (laughs) And it's your partner. So your partner, do they know what you're doing or is it a secret shame of yours? Yeah, yeah they know what I'm doing. But it was like, it, it's like very, it's very shameful. Like mm. it's a disgusting thing to be interested in and I should be, I should be like put executed it, in put the into, town You square. should be put into stocks and Absolutely. people should walk past you and throw rotten fruit at you. I agree. Now, Obviously all of us deserve that. Because I went through a similar thing uh, with this. At what point in your relationship, yeah, I might take this off. Oh, yeah. Um. I went through a similar thing Mm -hmm. with my partner. At what point in your relationship did you introduce this to the bedroom? Um, oh, um, (laughs) I think maybe like once, uh, once like, 
I like I, it would have been like my first like proper like I, I can't sleep kind right. of night. It would have okay. been maybe like three weeks in. Okay. Because we were very early on, very early early on yeah. which is, you know, that's three years for lesbians. Sure, sure, so sure. we had, okay. of course, spent <laughs> You'd moved in. Uh, You'd pretty much every night together. <laughs> um, and I and we'd already talked about um, everything in the future. So Great. now uh-huh. I was like, okay, now I'm ready. No, I can reveal <laughs> yeah. to you. So three weeks is actually, you did really well to hold on. <laughs> really well. But I was like, I just can't. And I needed to sleep. And I was like, I just, and it was like one of those things where I'm like, hey, I'm just going to like. Because it's such a weird thing to like pull out your phone mm. when you're, especially in a new relationship, in mm. bed with someone, and just yeah. be like, "Hey, I'm just gonna like watch this video," and then like, if they were to look over, it's like some woman with like a, a yeti microphone <laughs> being like, "Hey, so today I had a hoagie." <laughs> 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 and it's, it's like, very, so I had to just quickly explain. I'm like, I don't really know why, but it just makes me go to sleep, and it's yeah. the only thing I can do. <laughs> wow. Because I. Across, uh, your, your partner looks across, and you just got like a, a video of a woman with long nails eating crabs. <laughs> <laughs> I need this to sleep, okay? Need, but then it gets dangerous because I do go down these wormholes where I'm like, I'm not actually getting any ASMR vibes. I'm just like watching a woman eat a hairbrush, and I'm like, how'd she make that? And like, I'm so invested in what's going on. But then there's all this like drama that comes up in ASMR channels. There's fun stuff that happens like I saw a video pop up that was like a uh, woman whispers to you while she like stomps on your neck or oh. something and I was like I want to share this it's so funny but I what happened with you pardon with you and your well, no, partner well no because I um I use sleep stories not ASMR but I like to have some sort of white noise yeah it's like it can be even be music but I need to listen to something to go to sleep I can't just sit there I can't raw dog sleep no I can't just go like <laughs> Silence. So I'm like, I can't I'll do be it. up You're for both my weak. whole night. You're both so weak. <laughs> Just close your eyes. <laughs> close your eyes and go to That's sleep. That's where What's... the horrors live. No, no. You close your eyes and you go, Michael, go to sleep. And then you go to sleep. You're yeah, such but if a we fucking were in robot. Like, <laughs> if we were in the trenches in like World War One or something, you want to be a light sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually win. I such think evolutionary. Point. Such a great point. In um, the trenches in W in W on when we're just so quick, easily napping. At this point, I would like to bring up the fact that I googled who likes ASMR, and it's people who suffer from nervousness and anxiety. So interesting. Oh. Is that oh, okay. either of you guys or? <laughs> so you, but you reckon you don't suffer from anxiety? No, I think I get like stressed, like sure. a regular person. Mm. By you think the... you're not anxious? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, but I don't have like heart palpitations. Like, what does sure, anxiety sure. feel You're, like? Yes, yeah, yeah. You are not. You are not regularly hospitalized for no, anxiety. No, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's but, the benchmark. For but me. I think because you only hang around with like theatrical performers and comedians, yeah. I think you think of yourself as quite a calm person. But if you were to, if we were to let Jordan loose in the general population, mm. my again armchair psychologist um, diagnosis would be a very anxious. anxious. Is that right? <laughs> That's so interesting. Yeah, because yeah, I true. my I, I I live my whole life at what is um clinically a chronic level of anxiety. Mm. So it's very hard for me to assess anyone else's anxiety. Yeah. Because um you seem pretty chill to me. I feel you know who else seems pretty chill? Is Cardi that? B. You know who so loves ASMR? Cardi B. She loves she ASMR. She loves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she's probably one of the least chill people in the world. <laughs> I think people will be like, can't you be? But Akello, yeah, that song was written by a chill. She a literally chill threw a microphone at someone like a week ago. Oh, she did? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, she no, needed another video. But in her, in her defense, you know how there's that like trend at the moment of everyone throwing things at performers? Oh, like, yeah. Like they'll throw okay. a bra at Drake or whatever. Yeah, someone it's like Lisa th- Mitchell and the Dollars. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. right. Well, someone threw something at Cardi B. And Cardi B is like proper hardcore. Yeah. Like she is not. She's not like she's an old school brawler. She's an old yeah. school brawler, former stripper, and she best. just threw her microphone at them. <laughs> Obsessed. It was really perfect. Good. Yeah, honestly, I think I was like, "Good for you. You don't deserve to have shit thrown at you." Yeah. Um. But yeah, one of the least chill people I've ever heard of or seen <laughs> in my entire life. So we have now spent a couple of days listening to ASMR videos, trying them out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, under under your recommendation, you uh-huh. sent us a few to go through. Yeah. Um, Lewis, I want to know. I am so keen mm. to find out what effect this had on you. So I have been familiar with ASMR for a while because it's so adjacent to my interests, yes. which is that I do like to listen to things to sleep. I'm a terrible sleeper. I have been since the day I was born. Always been a terrible sleeper. And I need to go through a lot of different sleep hygiene to get to sleep. 
because I, I just my whole body wants me to stay awake forever. Yeah. Because as soon as I'm sleeping, I'm um, I don't know. That's when I'm not achieving anything, and that's the brain, you know, doesn't yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. And what's that thing called where you get like um, you want to keep you want to stay awake because you want all the free time that you didn't have during the day as yes, well. Yes, that's so you start treating your sleep time as your free time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would ha- in my brain's dream, I would never sleep. Yeah. That's the that's the dream situation for the way my like body was made. Yeah, they don't even have beds in their house. That's a that that's, that's a, a that's reference that's to a vampire film. That's oh, that's a Twilight reference. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've never seen Twilight. But, um, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, honestly, no, though, I I think I would make a very good vampire for a variety of reasons. <laughs> I agree. I would love. To, I think they um they never age. Which yeah. I love. Do you know what they don't like though? Silver bullets. Hello. <laughs> and in fact, that's a good We're point. Imagine that. Time. Imagine if I was a vampire hiding in plain sight. Oh, I'm out here, desperate for a silver bullet. If only I could find one. Turns out, a vampire the whole time. Um, but yes, much like the Cullens, I don't like sleeping. <laughs> if I can yeah. bring it back around. But I've tried ASMR several times, and here's what I genuinely believe. And I'm going to look you in the eyes as I say this. Everyone who likes it is getting horny over it. No. Uh, it's a sex thing. It's uh, a horny sex thing. Okay. And because the every single ASMR person is basically speaking like they're in porn. Like the, the all of the talking ones are like, yeah. Okay, yes. That's okay. That's right. And they do a lot of repeating. It's like... Mm, are you getting? I don't think they're moaning. They're no. not moaning. <laughs> well, no, but they're doing mouth noises which sound like sex noises. It's yes. like, oh, and then then they repeat things. It's like really, really, really tired. I hate that. And okay, okay, but that's what it is. That's what all ASMR is, in my opinion. I hear you, so, Jordan. You're now on trial. And so, I yeah. actually, and you're I, in horny trial. <laughs> yeah, you're. I'm, but you're I do in... think it's like similar to porn as well, in the sense that like people probably get in just like watching someone like slow read a storybook, and then suddenly they're watching like <laughs> a woman like put on like fifty layers of lip gloss and like say like I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, you is... can definitely. I think there you is think a, there's an ASMR to porn pipeline. I think there's a gateway. There's there is a gateway drug which is probably very light ASMR, can, can and I, there know. is a horny part of it. Of course, there I is. I think that I don't enjoy that. I think that what the ones that I like, I don't know if you saw. I uh, we'll come back to the clips that I sent you, but the ones that I like are from the Catholic uh, shopping channel. Um, <laughs> this is incidental ASMR. But I think, yeah. do you know, like when you're like, oh, it's not a horny thing for me, I like to watch nuns in habits do it. <laughs> now, let me just say, Jordan, it sounds to me like like that is a pretty big genre of porn. The, oh, yeah, you know, there is true, a fairly uh, uh, can, can classic, I... I would say, like, I don't know if you were brought up, um, you know, in any way religious. Catholic. Yeah, we. So you were brought up a Catholic, and and yeah. um and then not like and, super Catholic, but like baptized. So you're a Catholic lesbian who likes watching <laughs> at night a stern a nun. stern nun whisper <laughs> things to you. Now am um, I? I don't want to hey, lead you all the so way. Thank you so much for having me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually gonna thank you. <laughs> I, I kind of want to. I kind of want to get in here and. I'm sweating. Yeah, I've, I'll bet you are. I want to. I want to. Can I defuse some of this? Please? No, I. I want to. We're, we're, we're about to get somewhere. I think that. I think that. I think. I think Lewis has a point, but I also think that broadly, what Lewis is talking about is a phenomenon where anything that is done on the internet, there will be people jerking off to it. There's unfortunately, sure, sure, unfortunately. Sure, sure, sure. It doesn't matter what it is. Fingers crossed this podcast. Exactly. Hey, but their fingers if... might be crossed. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 there is, and, and so what happens is horny versions of things, mm. whatever it is, sprout up, right? Like I, like I like watching videos of people painting Warhammer on the internet, uh-huh. and I'll let you know that occasionally I have, while searching through the algorithm <laughs> of videos to watch, you see some like, Late lady in barely any clothes painting miniatures, and you're like, "Well, I don't think the people who are watching this are doing it for the painting technique, frankly." Like, this is a diff- This is this is the thing I like, but now I feel a bit a bit unclean. Do you know what both it. of you sound like to me? People who say that they read Playboy for the articles. <laughs> no, because 
because the guy the guy who I like watching paint Warhammer miniatures is a is a big fat nerd. And and he's and I don't think anyone would think of him as conventionally attractive. And I'm not horny about him. I just like what he does, right? And then it, the algorithm starts showing you more and more stuff, and then eventually you're just watching some lady, some yeah. some I mean, it's, lady, it's, and, and then you're like, and you feel, you know, it's a it's a spiral. It's, you know? it's how you can start watching a video about making your bed and end up like radicalized into becoming a Nazi by Jordan it's, Peterson. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly mm. it. Yeah, I see. I think it is one of those things where there's always going to be like a section of society, and I know that it exists because some mm. of my ASMR girls they have Patreons and they have like. They'll t- like when they're plugging it, they're like, I won't do any like sensual because they do personalized videos uh, and they're like, you can get sensual videos from other creators, but right. not from me. So there okay. is like definitely mm. a, like without a doubt. Of course. Is, there's but a, but I there's think a sex but, element. And I also they're always like really the, pretty girls. That's, mm. that's, right, yeah. that's what I mean. I think it's just a factor of being on the internet. That yeah, any content on the true. internet will be pornoed in some way. I know what you mean, but I think the Warhammer example is quite different to this. I think this is so close. Like having somebody whisper things to you gently in your ear. So it is funny that I literally can't listen to like a man do ASMR. It's like just and like and it and it I don't no, but for, before I was thinking about that before we um, even hit record, and I was like, "Why is that?" And I was like, "Oh, just because like men just like are not soothing creatures." Like, they, uh, but like, that's fair. I yeah. think yeah. that that is also I part of it that. too. Where I'm like, oh, what about, "Get out like, of my room." So the most popular ASMR creators are women. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because uh-huh. the I have a sleeping app which has a lot of different voices that I can listen to. Matthew McConaughey's voice, for well, example. Well, that's right. And so it's oh, got true. it has some celebrities with notoriously great voices. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. You can also listen to Harry Styles put you to sleep. Oh. People like that. But then other celebrities like Evergreen. You know. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's some really nice. But then they, my favorites, like I don't really go for the celebrities. Like that's a bit like, yeah, sure. Um, they get some like. <laughs> Classic voiceover. It's like me with food ASMR. I'm like, hey, look, everyone's got their thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, well, for me, the people I listen to are the, like, yeah, clearly voiceover artists with amazing deep, gravelly voices, yeah. and I can listen. They put me to sleep, so, and they just talk about like going through walks through nature and things. That's true. That's like the shipping news. Do you ever listen to that? Well, they have the guy from the shipping news on this app. Get out. Yeah. Okay, because I like that too. Right. Okay, well, um, we do have some common interests. Absolutely. So I'm someone who would never need this to go to sleep because I'm a good sleeper and, frankly, a superior human being, the two of you. Oh, my God. Well, it's easy to just turn off your off button. Yeah, (laughs) it's great. (laughs) And it works, and I'm, frankly, living a better life. But... I, I, this is, ever since you got married, you've been insufferable. <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, I, I guess for uh, this in specific, I have known about ASMR for I don't know a decade. Is that how long it's been around? But like, yeah, it's a big I thing. think so. Maybe Ten years, and because I'm on the internet a lot, I, I, I've come across it a couple of times. But I have always shied away from it because I had, I guess, similar preconceptions as to what Lewis did, right? Mm. I saw a lot of, like, women in bikinis or whatever doing ASMR, you know, cos... Um, I guess what you might call, like, cosplay creators or whatever. Yeah. Doing ASMR True. to quite horny guys. And I was like, I don't want to try this because if it awakens something in me, uh, yeah. I can... I, I just feel like as a kind of an Asian nerd who's into Warhammer and Magic the Gathering, mm. if I was also into ASMR pornography, I think I would probably have to go live in a cave. Like, you do you know what I mean? You don't want, like, a far. Russian lady doing a haircut role play to soothe you. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I, 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 there, there is, like, it's like, I'm already, like, 80% of the way there. If I, <laughs> yeah, you know, there, I, I, I'm like barely buying... in society as is. If I add one or two more things, you know. Yeah. It would be like buying you a katana. Exactly, exactly. Like, suddenly you know? we can't hang out anymore. Exactly. Yeah. So I've never, ever, um, I've always avoided it. Even if mm. people are like, oh, have a listen to this, I'm like, ah, not for me, you know. Mm. So How this was go? quite a big this was quite a big step for me. So I've never actually properly listened oh to God. like forty minutes of ASMR to see what it did to me. Did you only listen to the one Jordan sent, or did you listen to some rogue ones? I listened to about twenty to twenty five minutes of each of the ones Jordan sent. Okay, and then I went and then I wanted to check as well, so I looked at some. Should other we things. have another listen to one of the ones you sent? Yeah, because I think this. Was really interesting, and this is the one we were just, just discussing, which was um, Jordan's. Uh, look, let, we don't need to get into why she's into this specifically, but this is a, a man who finds accidental ASMR. So he looks 
around the internet for things that aren't intended to be ASMR, but does it for him. Mm -hmm. This is him introducing it, and it's essentially an old Catholic nun on an obscure shopping network selling rosary beads. I really enjoy when Mother Angelica presents different necklaces. You had to have blue rosaries, you know? Now, if you look, there it is. Because that, I think, <laughs> exemplifies it. When you hear the rosaries rolling around at the yeah, end, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the sort of sound ASMR that you can get a lot of on the internet. It sounds like that's more your speed. Mm. And also, <laughs> yeah, a stern Catholic nun <laughs> telling you Francis what to do. a Francis McDormand type. <laughs> <laughs> What can I say? Yeah. So I listened to, I, I watched sort of 20 minutes of that video yeah. and then a few of the other ones you sent through. And I'm going to tell you, ASMR made me feel extremely anxious. It made me feel so uncomfortable. Right. It yes. made me feel like someone was walking behind me about to attack me. I felt so, um, I felt so unnerved by the whole thing yeah. that I, I could not understand I'm, I'm like, I should have listened to this years ago because I would have been like, absolutely, this is not for me. Um, mm. But yeah, it did. It, it, it just made me feel like someone was trying to whisper in my ear all the time, obviously. That and then... is like so interesting though as well because I feel like there are, like there'll be like one night every so often where I'm like, it pisses me off. Huh. <laughs> and I like, and it's that feeling as well where I'm like, nah, get like away I get me. away, <laughs> like there's Too someone close. there or like whatever. And I'm like, nah, I don't like it. Do you so, have real, were you listening? I imagine you were listening in really good headphones because you love good headphones. Yes, yes, yes. Or do yes. you listen in really good headphones? Just like the standard little white ones that yeah. go in the ear. Okay, <laughs> right, 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 right. Because I've tried it, I tried it on my little wireless tiny little white ones. I tried on the, the big chunky ones. Mm. I also brought some um, sort of like, I guess like studio-y kind of headphones. That yeah. tried. So I tried over the last couple of days, I've tried in three different types of headphones. Each time did not make me feel good. And then... Because I, I think the better the headphone, the, the ickier it gets. Yeah. But True. then I found, because I went a bit rogue and was looking for stuff yeah. on the internet, just I was like, I was like, I really want to make sure <laughs> that I've gone to the nth degree yeah. on this. Uh-huh. I found a... And look, now of course, okay, you could, or everyone's going to think I was jerking off to this. I wasn't. Okay? <laughs> I'm always going to think you did. <laughs> I found a video of, how can I say this? A woman had a box that had an ear on it, okay? Oh. And the box with an ear on it had a microphone inside it. I know the ones. Okay. <gasps> so she was whispering. And she was not just whispering, Lewis. <laughs> uh-huh. So she was talking into the ear-shaped um, box, uh-huh. right? That a microphone inside it. So it, I guess to your ear, it sounds like someone's whispering in your ear because it's the same shape, I guess, uh. or it's meant to, I guess. Then I was like, okay, she's whispering to me. That's what she. Then she started kissing and licking the ear. This is what I mean. This is like. And I was like, <laughs> I felt. I was like, and then she's fully clothed and everything. But I was watching that and I was like, well, now this like some. I I can even though this does nothing for me, I can. I can't. I, if you're an ASMR guy, <laughs> there's no way you're not jerking off. You know what I mean? This is mm. clearly can you, intended um, to be sexual. I would like to put on my headphones. Can you give me an impression oh. um, <laughs> of what it sounds like when she's kissing and licking the ear? I'm going to turn your okay. headphones up. Well, I, I can't do it because I don't have the earbox, but I'll try and do it without the earbox. You, you can just do, do it. We won't look at you. Yeah, we won't we'll look at you. We'll give you privacy. And you do your okay. best at trying to um, replicate what that sound. What was she talking about? She was like. She was like, "What was she talking about?" <laughs> I'm trying to remember what she was saying. Should she I was... give her substance? <laughs> what's like, her backstory? <laughs> what's, what's her? I, what are her I, interests? I want this ASMR video to pass the Bechdel test. <laughs> <laughs> the ear and her not talking about a boy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn you up for um, yeah, okay. sensitivity. So she was like, "She was like, hey, welcome home. It's nice that you're back." Um, so today I went to the shops and I got the cereal you like. So it was it was that kind of stuff? Like that pretty and, general. And, and boring, then yeah. just kind of like here's what I did today. And then it went a bit like, anyway, I missed you so much. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> and then it went into <laughs> oh. now Jordan has taken off her headphones. <laughs> And do you know what? It was worse with them off because <laughs> I was in oh. the room with it, you know? Oh. And, and if you want to watch this on YouTube, you can see me put my hand to the microphone and kiss my hand like I'm practicing <laughs> kissing. But 
yeah, there is. Yeah, okay. It's so there, intense. It's I, so full I, on. I, I, I was like, I tried to get through like 30 seconds of it and it was so full on and I felt so yuck about it all. Mm. Yeah. Because the person who was doing it was clearly doing it, even though it was just on regular YouTube and not pornography YouTube, mm. um, it, it felt that they were doing it with such sexual intent that I felt a bit like, mm. for mm. me, for mm. me personally, mm. you know. Yeah. yeah. That uh, shit's gross. To be fair. But also I'm like, you know, at the but end of the day. But it's different. I feel like it's different to, I maybe, I think I'm like, my version of ASMR is like so missionary that like, <laughs> it's not like, it can't be in the, the eyes of God. It's like smiled upon. Okay. Do you know what I mean? But like I, I also like, I, I, <laughs> because, I know this is, we're getting caught in loops here. And I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're into that, you're not hurting anyone. Oh, you know? no. God, no. Of course. You know, go out and live your life. Yes. Do, it's do very it. minor, and, and, and really. The, and the person oh, what, you enjoy getting whispered to? Of sure. course. And the person who's doing it is doing it with sexual intent. So it's like, that's fine. That, I think they they know they know what why people are, you know. Um, mm-hmm. I guess for me, the big revelation was more about, like, the shame I had felt about possibly... Liking it. Liking it. Mm. And therefore avoiding it for a decade. Yeah. You know. Whereas in reality, if I just... Being open enough with myself to try it a decade ago, I could have I could have lived my life a decade free, knowing not for me, you yeah. know, and not had that weird um, anxiety and shame around it, you know. Mm. Yeah. But maybe my maybe I just do find it hot. Maybe that's why it all sounds like porn <laughs> to me. <laughs> maybe it's just not relaxing because I'm always like, this all sounds sexy and like porn. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, hang on. Maybe I'm just really into it in a way that I've never thought about before. <laughs> hey, can I just say, guys, I love that we're still talking, even though everyone has stopped listening to this podcast <laughs> about four minutes ago. <laughs> Look, I think ASMR is as big as a piece of string. You mm. know, there's yeah. so mm. much to it. It can go anywhere. And that's what's exciting about it, ultimately. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for um, bearing your soft underbelly. Thank uh, you. Because thank I you. think probably there are some things in here, if you do listen, back to this episode to talk to a therapist about? <laughs> Maybe. I don't I don't know. I think that therapy's a scam. <laughs> <laughs> we do not endorse that message. We do not endorse that message. All right. Let's get out of brass tacks. Jordan Barr. Obviously, yes. this is a silver bullet for you. Yeah, it helps me get to sleep. I need sleep to live. Mm, um, <laughs> not a silver bullet for me. I find, like, I could never listen to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> certainly, I could never listen to this just trying to go to sleep. Yeah. Too mm. distracting. It makes me... Uh, I. By, I think when I listen to it, everyone knows they're being horny. Like I think you're you're being like, oh, they don't know. They all know. <laughs> they all know. It it really does feel like we're stepping into like the psyche of a man in 2023 of just being like, <laughs> everybody thinks I want to fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Everyone everyone whispering like this into a microphone. Yeah, that's hey not. There, uh... <laughs> are you really sleepy? Oh, get sleepy. Yeah. Yeah. They know what they're doing. And you know what's been beautiful as well? In a similar way that, like, it was great for, to clear up that you weren't interested in ASMR. I yep. am in no way interested in either of you <laughs> <laughs> doing ASMR. <laughs> uh, yes, it was not a silver bullet for me. I can see why if you if it did, like, the tingly thing in the back of your neck. Sure. That I can see why it would be relaxing and send you to sleep. Like that's. But I, I, I don't could... think the tingly thing is relaxing. Yeah, well, Neck I don't really get it that relaxing. much anymore. You don't get tingly. Oh, I don't so really get tingly. Reduced returns over time. Yeah, absolutely. You start you're to like build. A, it's like um, you're chasing that high. Yeah, every time. Now mm. it just becomes more about like something that's like kind of a, yeah, just a slow story that's like whispered or softly spoken or something wow. like that. Hmm. It's just, but yeah, but sometimes they come back. Sometimes they're there. But it's like because that to me is like. There's a lion about to kill you. That's how yeah. I yeah, that's how I was like for it, me it feels it's threatening. Flight or fight. I get uh, yeah. I get the I get the flight response. Yeah, oh, I I felt threatened by it. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I guess you and I need to be yeah. constantly on the lookout for threats. <laughs> the bullies and whatnot. Um, so, like getting coward punched on the street. <laughs> so look, this was not a silver bullet for me, but um, you know, if it is for you best of luck to you. Um, yeah, let a thousand blossoms bloom. Now, <laughs> as we um, say farewell, I feel like we should all say, um, say what we need to say. Um, I'm just going to start this. Um, Jordan, is there anything you'd like to say at Thank the end of this podcast? Thank you so much for listening to the Silver Bullet podcast. And I hope that you have a really, really lovely night. 
bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, is there anything you'd like to say to the listeners? Guys, I feel so uncomfortable <laughs> right now. <laughs> and I feel like even though we're all having fun here, I still think we're going to get a call from HR. I don't know why, <laughs> but I feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> Boats are here. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week.